The GB News Tavern is open, but my pint has not arrived. I am waiting for it. I, I am joined tonight by the wonderful Connor Tierney, quantity surveyor by day and bare-knuckle fighter by night. So, Connor, first of all, why do you want to ruin such a beautiful face? That's not me coming on to you, by the way. <laughs> well, to be fair, I've had eight bare-knuckle fights and it's still beautiful. So that's just says to me, should I carry on ruining everyone else's face? Well, I keep myself. But isn't the first rule of Fight Club that you're not allowed to talk about <laughs> Fight Club? That is the first rule What's of Fight Club. What's the second rule of Fight Club? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, there is no rule of Fight Club in mine. It, for me, it's getting the attention that uh, I want and I deserve, in my opinion. Um, I've been boxing for such a long time uh, as a kid. 48 amateur fights I had with gloves. And then going into bare knuckle because it was like, not really mainstream, but going on to TV, and that's all I wanted to do was get on TV and have a bit of fame, you know what I mean? And they say you get, is it 15 minutes of fame in your life, and I've surpassed that now, so oh, I yeah. guess I'm on my way to stardom, and I really. Talk me through um, the difference, because I, I was interested, I was reading about it, and the, and the, the difference between landing a punch on someone's face uh, with, a, with whatever's covered to protect... Yeah, it's, it's nothing to protect it. You're wrapped up to the um, about an inch before the knuckles, and that's to protect your wrist and metal carpal bones, even though, obviously, if you look there, it, it doesn't... It doesn't seem to have worked. <laughs> it's major <laughs> scarring on the left depends on how hand. hard you hit him, really, to be fair, do not it? But it, what's the science on uh, a big boxing glove versus that's a wrapped-up fist when it comes to what you're going to do to someone's head? Because, you know, yeah, there's a million yeah. people that yeah. would go, we need to ban all forms of fighting, full stop. Well, this is the thing. Doctors, you know, um, you know, special, special consultants and stuff in hospitals, people to do with brains and head trauma will, will instantly say that boxing, bare knuckle, it's barbaric. It's no good for the brain. You know, just as, it's, it's just as good as a football when you're heading in a leather ball, isn't it, coming full power at you, basically. But in my opinion, with bare knuckle, it's safer than glove boxing because glove boxing, right, you've got, um, with a fist, it's a direct impact on the bone. The bone's hitting the skull. Impact. And it's an instant clean knockout. But, believe it or not, there's no concussion. And I've Why had not? concussion. Why is there no concussion? Because the brain, obviously, there's fluid around the brain and concussion comes when the brain is, is jolted or wobbled. Yeah. Especially when you're getting hit at the back of the equilibrium. So, obviously, when you're getting hit bare knuckle, the impact's solid. It's like a hammer, like a, a metal hammer hitting, you know, like a, a metal beam. It doesn't beam. sound fun. It doesn't sound fun, no. But it, if you imagine the, the effects of getting hit once and getting knocked out compared to getting hit say, 12 rounds in a world title fight, continuously with twa uh, eight ounce gloves, some of these are, padding your hands so you can hit as hard as you want for as long as you want boxing. That's what causes concussion. Yeah, because it's that sort of... Yeah. I, I remember when I did boxing. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not very good at it, as you can possibly tell by <laughs> my, my guns. But yeah. they were always, like, punch through the head. Yeah, yeah. You know, with the boxing glove, like, aim for the back of the head. Well, and this... what you're doing is you're literally trying to take someone down. Yeah. It, so, and it's... Oh, look... Oh, we, we, well, thank you, Barbara. All oh, right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, cheers. cheers. We are allowed to acknowledge it. It is a point of vodka, I think so. It is. Anyway, <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, go, go back. So you've got a bare fist. Yeah. You've, you've, got, a, you've got a big wrapped-up fist, yeah. Rocky style. Punch, 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 punch. Yeah. That is going to do more damage. Is that what the science says? So the science is, if you stand in a ring, say you, you give someone five minutes of punching them as, lo as hard as you can for as long as you want with no damage to your hands because your hands are wrapped and gloved. But the thing is, the spread of the blow is ridiculous. If you think an inch... So my fist there, diameter, is probably about four and a half inches. If four and a half inches hitting your face, it's a direct impact that's going to either knock you out or it's just going to daze you, stun you, you know, but it's not going to do the effects of what a four-inch glove, a four-inch hand gone into a glove where it spreads the blow with another three inches over side, you know. You're giving yourself 10 inches there wide and you're just spreading the blow. And it's like what I always say, if you get a wooden beam and a rubber mallet and you hit a wooden beam, it will spread the, spread the blow across the beam. But when you hit with a direct, like a, a metal hammer, like a, like a claw hammer on a, on a metal surface, it's a direct impact. And, and the thing is, as barbaric as it sounds, your bare knuckle, there's a lot of nasty cuts and obviously broken faces and, and hands, but the short-term injuries... Long-term injury. Are, there, are the fights shorter? Yeah, they are. The, the two-minute rounds, they're five rounds. The company's Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship now. They've come over from America. They've introduced this huge event. We've, we've just recently put on the biggest Bare Knuckle event in history, Wembley Arena, where I co-headlined with um, MMA star Michael Venom Page. The pair of us headlined and co-headlined the fight, and um, it's become a, a massive success. But a lot of people have watched it and thought, this is more entertaining than glove boxing. 
Well, it's more real. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? it's real. So, so, so th- this is like you've got the the your sort of GCSEs are glove boxing. Yeah, yeah. A levels a UFC. Yeah, and your degree in how hard you can possibly be in life. I is... Think- the gloves off. Yeah. Gloves off, that's what yeah, he's saying. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's gloves off, and it's not even wrapping over the knuckle either, to be fair. It, it's, it it's... Does, but look, I am looking at your knuckles, mate, and to be fair, <laughs> I'm worried about what happens in your system. Well, to be fair, it's, uh, you know, the, the hands are never on show. As long as the face is still pretty, the hands can be as mangled what's as the, they want. What's the most painful thing that's happened to you? Um, I have been knocked out. I've been knocked out in 36 seconds. It wasn't painful, because I didn't remember it. Yeah. But when I got it. up, like, um, I think the painful part was accepting the loss. More yeah. than anything. And that came with, you know, me being low and, and, and not wanting to get out of bed for a week or two because this is a big thing for me. Passionately, I think I'm one of the best bare fighters on the planet. So Should boys should boys be encouraged in their strength? Um, and girls? No, no, no. Boys and girls are welcome to do exactly what they want. You know, my son, I've got a son, he's six years of age. I don't want him to box. Do you know what I mean? If he wants to box, he can box. He says me he wants to, but I won't force him to go to the gym. I don't think it's a, a gender thing where we should be pushing uh, the males into these combat sports and that. It all depends. It's down to you. And it's a gift as well. You need to be talented. I always had the talent. I was always I had the knack. You see, I've seen kids get trained in the gym throughout my career. who have just never had it. Just never had the, the, the talent to go forward and, and do anything special in their career. So, like I say, it's anything like footballers, you know, it takes them natural talents to come through, and boxing's exactly the same. And bare-knuckle boxing is, is, the, is the new version of it, and I can also testify to the fact that boys and girls are better and worse at it because my niece is, the, <laughs> is killer with a well, pair of gloves Well, to, to be fair, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you now, um, especially bare-knuckle fighting championship, they have a lot of female fights, the, the like, likes of Paige Van Zandt and stuff are all involved in it now. And um, Should a man be able to fight a woman? <sighs> Do you know what? I've got to watch what I say because of gender right. equality and stuff. Well, no, you know, let's be honest, no. No, because physically, when you look at calories... You punch consumed, a woman, man. No, especially you... without... <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm not making it like... Uh... No, I'm just asking you a simple question. <laughs> yeah, no, should, no. Should a no, man and a woman be able to no, go no. head to head? No, of course not. I mean, I'd lose myself. I mean, I suppose if, I suppose if a woman wanted to um, change her gender and went into... wanted to be a man... What's and gender? I, well, whatever they say nowadays, if she wanted to say, if she wanted to have a, um, a, a she wanted to go, I right, wanted okay. to go into a, and, and, and say, I'm, and yeah. identify as a man, and she wanted to go into fighting and she, say she was, you know, injecting hormones in the body and, and developing the characteristics of a male, yeah, and maybe, you know what I mean, maybe, but still, still not really. Like you, what about you? So, we're taking, we've got no gloves on. Mm. You walk into a ring. I, look, I can understand why you're on the fence about it a bit because, yeah, you know, yeah. you've got um, Fallon Fox and all that stuff yeah, in yeah. UFC, and I, I, I get it. But to put a woman mm. in the most extreme combat sport there is... In the world. ...ever, yeah. you're really going to have to get a position on that one, my friend. <laughs> you, you, I mean, you are, because yeah. you, you don't want to... I mean, just answer me this, honestly. They walk you into the ring and they yeah. say, by the way, this is Barry... Yeah. Used to be Bella. Yeah, yeah. Would you throw a punch at her? Um, Him? They? Mm, yeah, if she looked like a bloke, yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm getting paid to do it, then I'll do it, then I'll so. Really? <laughs> but, but yeah, you of course, because, you know, if she volunteered to the but challenge... But you've got weight classes in boxing, right? You've yeah, got she's the same weight, 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 weight. Then fine. <laughs> she's the same weight, then fine. It's, yeah, because it is, it's, a, it's a weight class, isn't it? I'm £165. It, which is 74 kilo. So if she stepped in that 74 kilo and she was like, you said, Bella, that went to Barry, you know, had all the, the physique, did the change, you know, then at the end of the day, it's a legitimate contest in my eyes. Take him down, knock him out. <laughs> exactly, Don't rule a yeah. fight club. If she's called Bella, but she's now called Barry, you can knock her out. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers, mate. Thank Lovely you. to meet you. And you. 